We're just gonna laugh and do this. Yes. Because we can. And do it nice the front. Guys, we've never done a Hogue episode ever. We've never done a full auto episode. No, nope, and this still isn't a full episode auto episode. This it's is dang a, close. a Hogue episode. We're gonna talk about some great knives from a US company. Hogue knives. It's time for Guys Talk Knives. Hey guys, we're in the studio. New studio, actually. New studio, yes. New studio. No, I guess it wouldn't it look like that to them. Yeah, they're yeah. just going to think the same thing. It does to us. It's hilarious. Trust us, it's new. This is Guys Talk Knives, brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Yes, indeed. Awesome. And the, we're killing it on the website. We're killing we're it a, everywhere, we're man. We're having a blast. 99,000 people. Yes. 99,000 people follow us on Facebook. Hundreds of thousands on our email list. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's awesome. Millions on the email list. Millions. Hundreds of millions. <laughs> Tens of millions. Tens of, of millions. Of thousands of things. We shipped eight million knives yesterday. No. <laughs> Do you know Do you Ryan, would, Ryan would come find us uh -huh. and beat us? Yes. <laughs> He'd yes. be happy about it. But he needs us. Yeah. Ryan runs our warehouse, yes. so yeah, yeah. Ryan probably would. Reminded me of the Joe Isuzu commercials there for a while. <laughs> did, yeah. It we sold eight million, eight million cars. Yes. yes, yes. We're talking Hogue knives, though, right? And you're, uh, we haven't ever done a Hogue centric episode, no. right? No, we haven't. We, we've shown some Hogues on the show, sure, but yeah. we have never actually done a whole episode. This on is Hogue. Hogue central, people. Hogue and, central. And the reason we haven't. Is because Hogue makes some amazing automatic knives. They do. Yeah. And why are we now focusing? Uh, because we are now shipping automatic knives to places. Snives. Automatic snives. knives to places that allow them. I, I think it's awesome. Yeah. I have been a sucker for an automatic knife forever. You know me, though. I'm on the fence on this. You I are. love a good flipper. I do. Especially a manual flipper. Here's how bad it is. I'm going to take you back 20 years. Okay. My first auto came from here from Mac. Oh, wow. Back in the day. Wow. He bought a collection, walked in, and said, give me 10 bucks. And wow. I said, yes, sir. And he said, there, now shut up. It was, a, was it a stiletto type? <laughs> it was. Yeah. Well, it was a modern, <coughs> out, uh, out the side yeah. automatic ah. um, that I used to terrify people worth at other jobs because it stayed in my desk as a letter opener mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. Um, but I, I love that thing. And now the fact that they're legal in Tennessee and we're shipping them virtually everywhere right. in the U.S. except for the states that still have a ban, right. um, that just makes this so much more poignant and timely. Right. So if you haven't shopped around in that portion of the website, go take it. Go check it out. Go do. Yeah. Yeah. See if you qualify by your by the law for sure. And then you know, get, get your automatic auto. knife because uh, there is no more fun one. than that. Okay. I don't know what your level of fun outside this place is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about fun with knives, okay. sir. Okay, yeah, maybe with knives. Maybe, maybe not. Or, or maybe you're at a restaurant. They don't have any good steak knife, and you're just like, <laughs> just pop out your out the front to cut up your steak. How much goo goes back on the inside at that point? Oh, it made it way too much. You have to wrap it in that. Can take uh, it home with you. Let, let's let's look at the actual yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're we're, listening on the podcast, we're going to get into the first one. Jason's going to tell me the name, oh. and then I'm going to hold it down here so we can all see it. So this is the Hogue A01 Micro Switch. You know what's cool about this one? I'm going to hold it right here and get it in the... Look, it's in the screen. I love Isn't it. Isn't that nice? You know what's cool about this one? This is the first the time they've done a blade under four inches. Oh, that too. Yeah, that's why no, this I, is the micro switch. This is the micro switch, yeah. This is the first auto with a three inch, with a less than three inch blade. It is actually 2.75 inches, CPM 154 stainless steel. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a, a T6 anodized aluminum handle. Push button deployment, slide safety on the side, which, again, as I've said a million times, right. that is one of the things that I really dig about an auto. Um, it is 6.6 .6 inches overall, made in the USA, and it is just a, a good look of the life. Look at the detail on the on the back. Oh, yeah. On the uh, spacer back there? On the spacer. I, yeah. I always want to call it a back spring. It is not a back spring. No, not on this. On the spacer. I just I love the way it looks. You've got a little bit of jimping on the back of the knife, a right. lot of jimping on the blade. Um, anybody who's listening, this is a very modern looking folding knife. It it's is. A, it's a clip point blade. It is. It's got some deep swedging to it. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's a perfect little yes. auto. It's great. Um, Talk this, about a perfect EDC. Not too big, not too small. Right. 
it's good for whatever task you've got to throw at it. Um, and it's an auto. Right. I like that jumping a lot. I do like that jumping a lot. With it. Um, again, you've got a safety here on the side. So you lock it in place. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> Had to get used to it. And no opens. Yeah. And you're ready to go. It's yeah. just a it's just a good, nicely sized pocket knife. Right. I dig it. Um, what's the cost? What's the price on this thing? Uh, one forty four ninety nine. So one forty five. Yeah. Got a reversible pocket clip as well, so you can go right to right. Definitely. Um, which is another good thing. Usually about a about an auto. Um, and you've got buttons on both sides. Correct? No, you, you do don't. not. But okay. If you're left handed, you do you're still use good. your index finger. Yes, you're yeah. still good. Especially with the out the sides, it's much easier than some yeah. of the other stuff. But you just go on the other side. Yeah. Go right from it. Uh, again, if you're looking to kind of get into the... With my dead left hand. Dead left hand. <laughs> I always think of Chris Elliott from Scary Movie <laughs> Let me help you with my gun. Please get it away from me. <laughs> Love that I'll, movie. I will cut you with my dead left hand. Him with the turkey. It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> so wrong. If you're, looking, so... if you're looking for a knife, though, to get kind of get into the autos, um, you want to go a little bit higher end. Um, great still. Yeah. Very lightweight with that aluminum handle, and just it's a good looking. Made in the USA, guys. It yeah. is made in the USA. Everything we're going to show you today, today by, by Hogue Knives is made in the USA. Yeah. So that's the uh, A01 Micro, Micro switch. switch. Yep. Now we're going to get in oh. to the harpoon. <laughs> <laughs> I love that blade style. I, this love to that me, blade style. When I saw these come from Hogue, I thought, man, that knife is just completely put together. Yes. And I, I mean that in this sense, and I'm going to hold it down here, John, so we can see. This knife, to me, just screams that every single little bit of it was planned out to a T. There is You're nothing so that's right. missing from this. Tell them about the, about the This is the uh, so AO5. Is, yeah, the, the EX AO5, it's a 30, 34530 is the number on it. It's an automatic knife. Um, 3.5 inch CPM 154 still. Black anodized T6 aluminum handle. So, you, again, you've got that weight reduction in the aluminum. Um, if you can imagine a three and a half inch harpoon style blade with a really, really pronounced harpoon on the, on yes. the, on the back. Yes. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say that's really, really pronounced. I, I'd say that you I, can see it. I think the reason I say pronounced is because it tapers so far down the blade. What I think makes it stand out more than anything is that they took the time to swedge that harpoon. You're right. Yeah. And so, like I said, full. Front to back. Yes. Alan Weschwitz, who is the designer on this thing, did this thing upright. So that switch makes that stand out. Though it's not a strong rise. It's no, it really is. It's a huge yeah. rise. It really just but stands out. But it's a good ramp for your thumb. Oh, certainly. Yeah. Certainly. Certainly. <laughs> certainly. You're, you can, you're talking like I type today. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't certainly code. Certainly. Well, I'm Nothing a great would work. Yeah. So, <laughs> No Larry or Curly there. Um, I don't know. I think you'd be going Curly. <laughs> pretty, pretty um, Gilbert Gottfried is something. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, you're exactly right. It does flow. I mean, you've got you've got this nice taper to um, to all of the the grip on the handle, uh -huh. the backspace on that. You, again, you've got some detail in that as well. Some weight, weight reduction in the rate reduction. Weight reduction in the back of this <laughs> to start over. We got a new studio and um, new lips. <laughs> apparently, week. and you've got even the detail back here on the pocket clip. You flip it over, you can see that the pocket clip really stands out where yeah. you can reverse it on either yeah, side. It's deep carry as well. Yeah. Uh, the milling on this on the handle is amazing. Um, it's just, guys, if you're listening on the podcast, it's hard to describe to you how nice this knife looks. Click it the really link does. if you yeah. get a chance. Go on the site, look at the Hogue knives. It is gorgeous. This thing runs... 196 bucks. 196 bucks. Yeah. Um, and it's worth every penny. Well, you're getting a lot of steel on that blade. You're getting... An amazing amount of work and detail in that knife. Um, and that's going to be a knife that you carry with pride. Here notices some of these um, out the side automatics as compared to maybe the crunch of a flipper or the crunch of a spring assisted. Yeah. It's just kind of. Yeah. This is not. Nope. No. It's there. It's not. And the next one we're going to look at, I mean, yeah. even more so. Even more so. It's probably the next one coming up is probably my favorite on the table. Certainly with blade style. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I think we should go with your name for the blade style. I, I mean, this one really pops out and moves. I'm telling you. I mean, it the gets... first time I deployed that, it you can certainly feel it lock into place, mm -hmm. and you've got to have a good hand on it. Yes. Otherwise, it's going to yes. go somewhere. Yes. 
You so, cannot let it fly out of your hand no. and stick in the floor. Exactly. By accident. So this is, again, an EX A05. This is the 34521. Um, it is a three and a half inch stainless modified worn cliff. It looks like a snapping turtle head. It does. It yes. just really does. This I one's think even Hogue different than the other one that. we've got here. Oh, yeah, it is. I think Hogue should accept that name and call this a snapping turtle. I love the curves in this thing. I Guys, this is a full-size EDC if you're listening on the on the podcast. It's an automatic with a safety switch. The blade, I don't know if Tanto adequately describes it. It, it, it is doesn't. a different shape than I've seen on any knife out there. Um, they call it a modified worn cliff. Uh -huh. um, modified worn yeah. cliff, yeah. Modified Tanto, I think, fits this as well, though you do have that, that little bit of an edge in a different place on this one. Right. Um, I imagine a worn cliff and a, and a Tanto had a baby and then went sideways. <laughs> That's right. And this one's got the uh, the double grind in it. So, it does, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, you've got a reversible pot clip, just like the last one we looked at on, on that harpoon. Um, the three four five two one is just a good looking knife. You've got all those features in the Hogue that you you're looking for, mm -hmm. plus that pop of that blade being yeah. so unique. Yeah. Um, again, in a in a pocket dump situation. Yeah. I don't know that you don't win with this almost every time. Right. Uh, you've got that good, nice, deep cut your finger to sit into right. when you're using it. Um, just a just a great looking knife. Uh, 154 CPM still, again, anodized aluminum handle, so you're reducing weight. Uh, you've got the safety on the side, so you don't yeah, open so it. You, yeah, you're not gonna lose it in your pocket. Accidentally. Um, I just, I, I really, I like that look. I like the way it feels. And again, that blade is something completely different. I like the color, new studio. Things yes. are, ghosts are here. Things are moving around. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color. I do like the color. A heck of a lot. I'm usually, you know me, it's either silver or black mm -hmm. is what I usually buy. That I dig. I like the finish on on both of these last two. So the finish on on the harpoon, the finish on this, the turtle head. Right. So the 05. And the, the 05 and the, what is it, the 521. Uh, they're both, the um, both A05s. The finish on that aluminum is great. It's not rough. It doesn't catch your fingers. No, it's but it's also not on the slick. edges, but it's not slick. It's not going to yeah. leave your hand easily. Yeah. No, it's nice. I really, really like it. Yeah. Well, we're coming up on a time where we're going to have to take a little bit of a break right here. We're not. You're going to. We're talking more knives. Oh, it's happening after this Dang it. because we got fancy commercials to stick in the middle now. God. <laughs> we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. You're watching Guys Talk Knives. Make sure you're liking, sharing, and subscribing to this video because. There's gonna be a speed test in a second. <laughs> We're having fun on the yeah. show. We're gonna get back into more some more hogs when we come back. We're gonna do something I'm to gonna drink. make Jason. We already had too much to drink. Apparently. We'll be right back with more guys talk knives. <laughs> hey guys, it's Swag from SMKW.com, and this is the Kaiser Knives Sheepdog. Now it's designed by Chris Conaway from Sheepdog Knives. And it's so smooth. Listen to it. Whoa. Mm. Nice. That's nice. And it's got a 3.25 inch S35V cleaver blade. It's also got blue anodized handles, blue titanium anodized handles, and a frame lock. It's four and a half inches closed and can fit anywhere. So go on over to smkw.com and check it out. And we are back with more Guys Talk Knives. That's Jason, I'm Andy, and we're talking Hogue. Hogue. We got the broken hoax on the table now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell the story. Okay, so uh, you know we pick these things for the shows, right? So we, we go through and we pick everything, and I picked a lot of autos. And Melina goes out to pick all of them, <laughs> and I don't know if she was half teasing or not, but you know she gets to this one, That's and she's say. been pushing these buttons on the automatics. She's like, push, 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 push. It, it's broken. <laughs> no, it's because these are manuals. <laughs> yes, right, and probably like the smoothest. Oh, for, no, for sure. The smoothest. You know how bad I am at thumb studs? Not on these. No, they're in the exact right spot. The thumb studs in the right spot. There is no resistance. Um, and are these ball bearing? I have no idea. We'll I'd have say to look it up. Kind of, Hang on. Maybe we may have it on the notes. And maybe no, I'm just not looking. I, I made those notes, so I'm okay. going to tell you that it is we'll not have, there. We'll find out, and we'll, we'll put it somewhere. We'll add it to the, the product descriptions online. So, this is another one of those funky blades. This is the yes. AX04. It is the uh, manual yep. version of that. This is the black and gray G Mascus. G Mascus. G Mascus. Yo, G Mascus. Wow. So 154 CM modified Warncliffe. It's the, the turtle head, but a little different. It is different. If you flip that one open and look, yeah, you got to come down in my shot. Down right there. It's a little, 
A little different. So this one has a like a little lip. I don't want to touch this blade, but it kind of goes up and back into a really sharp and Well, and you've thing. got a ramp on top where this one does not. Yeah. And you don't have the double grind. We sound amazed. Why we do. We are. It's like but we just looked at him for the first time. <laughs> and we hadn't. That's the bad thing. No. Normally, that would be a true statement that I had just looked at him. We literally came with these a yeah. bunch because we were getting the new studio ready. Um, can I take a moment to tell you how much I dig the handle on that? Uh, it's pretty. Yeah. It's a G10. You know, yeah. I would assume that's their G Mascus, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It, it's a. It is a gorgeous handle. So it's layered G10, um, finished off, and and just has a great texture. Has a good look to it. Yeah. Um, there's nothing wrong with this knife. Tip down, pocket lip, right yep. side only. It looks like this right is side non-reversible. Only. Yeah. Uh, the black coating is going to keep that blade protected and be non-reflective. Yes, indeed. Um, I want to see if we can do this. It should have a decent close, drop close. I would think so. The um, it does, especially after kind of especially after time, yeah. it's going to loosen up a little bit. After time yeah. and kunpi, and kunpi, definitely put your kunpi yeah. on there. <laughs> definitely let your kunpi. De on definitely there. some kunpi. Um, so this is a four inch blade, nine inches overall, uh, five and a five and a quarter inch closed. Um, just a, a good looking knife made in the USA. Uh, you've still got it's a push button lock on the side. Right. Still have a safety, which is. Yeah, exactly. not necessarily a bad thing. Right, right. Um, certainly not something you see a lot on a manual. Right. Um, I'm glad they added that. It's, it's just a, another nice touch to it. Right. Yeah. It's nice. How much Very. is this one? Uh, two o four. Two o four on this manual. That's Again, nice you have knife. a little bit of a step up with that G10 and the work in that G10. That's that's why you've got that extra money in it. Um, and it's just a the texture on that's really. It's a gorgeous really knife. Unique. Just flat out, it's a gorgeous knife. It almost I don't know what I would call that look on that G10. It's mm -hmm. it's a. Kind of a Damascus wood grainy thing. Maybe that's why they called it G Mascus. I know that's what I'm saying. Damascus. But it's not. It's not like traditional Damascus that you see either. Um, but I really like it. Next up, <laughs> moving on. Now that was the EXO four. This is the EXO three. Yes. Uh, so this is their. Uh, this one's broken too. Broken too. This is 136 dollars. <laughs> Look this at is the a, drop on that. One. I'm telling you, man. This Push is 136. It is still the 154 CM stainless steel. Um, it is a black glass polymer handle. Mm -hmm. It has a great texture. This insert here on the side mm -hmm. gives it really, really good texture. You've got a little bit of ridging even on the back end of this. Uh -huh. um, great jumping on the front. You got a harpoon style tanto, tanto which is really yeah. cool. So you've got not only jumping, but a thumb wrap at the top. You're going to go ambidextrous here too because you got your thumb studs on both sides. Yep. The, the ability to remove that pocket clip, I guess. Oh, reverse it. Oh, no, you can reverse it. Yeah. yeah. Cannot get it to the other side. There you go. You still have in this the uh, the push button lock on it and a safety. Um, it has a great feel. Mm -hmm. Both of those you can deploy with a snap of the wrist upside down in the chair. Probably once you get used to it, you can just flick your wrist and have those out. Um, and they both and that one closes. I don't like know if dream. you can open them like that or not. No, it's not going to happen. There's not enough. Did you flick it down though? Yeah, you can flick it down. Yep. That one I knew you could without any doubt. Yeah. That is a that is just a great feel. And you can only do it once. That's right. No, I do it on a third try every time. On a third try. You're just afraid. <laughs> you got to go for it. Uh, I, you know, <laughs> my fear is that I'm just going to bounce this off the table through the monitor and all of that. My fear is that it doesn't have a liner lock that I want it to have. And I uh, keep pushing on the side of this knife to close it. Yeah. That's a, that's a thing, though. I mean, if you carry those knives all the time, you just forget oh, yeah. about it. And my, my thumb has to slide past the freaking button, though, to do it. That's how stupid I am. But uh, I, I completely love this. And again, it's $136. You're getting great steel in it. You're getting a, a very well-designed knife that has a tremendous feel. Right. Um, I like the fact the pocket clip on both these. I mean, that's three screws in that. It's not going anywhere. There's no, no. wiggle in that. And it's got that nice paddle on it. it you know, so. and I've seen that a lot recently. Mm -hmm. I like that, I think. I'm starting to like that better than a more narrow pocket clip. Well, if you have some of the jeans that I have now that have the hole in the outside of your sure. jeans, that little layer of yes. the outside of the pocket because it just keeps poking, 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 and then eventually puts the hole right There's there. also something about the fact that when this is in your pocket, it's going to say Hogue mm -hmm. sticking out. And quite frankly, if you're spending the money for a good knife, you need to advertise it. <laughs> you I'm need saying. to drag on it just a little I'm bit. serious, though. I mean, look at that. You've got that in your pocket? Somebody's going to know, oh, well, he's carrying a, a good, expensive piece of steel there. Nice. Yeah. So that is another hoe. we got one more to go. 
It's probably the most fun. You can do it. You can do it. Play with it right here, and then I'll show it down there. So this is the Hogue OTF. Out the front. Oh, that just is such. Oh, yeah. You don't have to have a safety. No. Because if you deploy that in your pocket, you did something wrong. There was an accident. Right. A car was involved. <laughs> Or a lot of change, <laughs> like a like a sock filled. You've got to give it. You've got to give it some oomph to get it moving. Yeah, yeah. But um, that is a tremendously good feeling out the front auto. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. You can play with it while that, I read the specs. That is uh, a dual action. It is a dual action. The um, the texture on this on the side of that. Yes. <laughs> it's addictive. Fidget spinner. I wonder what the what the lifetime is on those springs. I don't know. We probably just. Took off like a hundredth of them, so <laughs> a hundredth. But this, so this is the again, this is the uh, OTF automatic. It is two ninety eight. You're on almost any out the front with good steel. You're going to pay more for it, yep. but you are getting a quality product that's going to last as yep. well. So this is a three point five inch CPM one fifty four stainless steel out the front Tanto. Done. We can walk away from it. It's amazing. It is amazing. It we is noticed amazing. yesterday too when uh, Swags and I were out doing Swags reports and yeah. looking at automatic knives that uh, all of your out the fronts, if they've got a pocket clip like this bad boy right here, mm -hmm. they're all tipped down. Always. Yes, because ain't nobody want to stick the hand in the pocket. No, and accidentally hit that and end up with that in their wrist. Try to pull it out and yeah, and, and activate it in bad. through your hand. Yeah, be bad. Not a good thing. Um, anodized aluminum handle on this. Uh, five inches closed, eight and a half inches overall. It's just, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you have never owned an out the front automatic, it, it is do addictive. It. it is like do it. spinner glory. Make sure that your state allows you to do it. Yes, but do it most definitely. This would not work in California. No, it would not. It's too long. Yep, too long. Yep, gotta be under two inches. Some places need you need to have a concealed carry license. Some places you can have them, but you can't carry them concealed. Some places you can have them, but you can't buy them. <laughs> that is the, <laughs> that truth. the truth. That's true. That is insane. Yes. But it is true. But it is true. I don't remember what state that Mon was, but I was like. Was it Montana that was under an inch and a half until recently? Oh, that's like that, That's like that little stumpy from Rough Rider. It's the executive <laughs> shank. The executive shank. <laughs> Look up that Rough Rider stumpy if you haven't seen it yet. It's kind of awesome. I'm going to put it in there where you can search for executive shank. And that knife comes up. Favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite on the table. Uh, that. Okay. But let's take that aside. Okay. That was fun. That is, I would agree that that's probably the most fun to play. If with. I was going to purchase one with someone right. else's money today. Did we say what the I, money was on that one? We did, but it's two ninety eight. Okay. Which really ain't bad. No. Because um, there's a lot of tech in that. There's a lot of good steel in that. And quite frankly, it's an out the front right. OTF that right. is going to last forever. Um, Setting that aside. Setting that aside. Favorite on the table. If I had to pick one, mm -hmm. it might be that or that. Yeah. I love the size of that micro right. switch. And even though it's not an automatic, that has tremendous action and yes. it looks amazing. So once again, you're wrong. Uh, it's fine. Sure. <laughs> I knew which one you were going yeah. to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I already said it. <laughs> to be honest, what I want to do. I want that blade in this knife. Oh, see, I don't care about the blade. I want this handle on that knife. I like the little curve on the tip of that turtle nose. I do, but I want the G Mascus handle right. on an auto. Right. That'd, that'd be cool. All right. We, you know we've got to do it. Pick it up. Oh, speed test. Yep. One, two, three. Yours faster. Not by much. Not by much. Let's go get it. One, two, three. It's close. Yep. It's, it's really, really close. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Sadly, that is almost the same exact almost. speed. No liner lock. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, where you can go and find yes. all of these glorious Hogue knives that are made in the USA. They're beautiful. You'll find a whole section. There's a lot more to look at in the Hogue section. Here's what I'm going to say. Go ahead and do that, man. Get on that site and check things out. Any one of these knives that's on the table right now ships to you free. Yes, indeed. Via priority mail. So it'll be there in a matter of days. Yeah. yeah. We're shipping clear from the warehouse Anything, usually within. Any order you make at all, $99 yeah. or more. I mean, to be honest, you're probably looking at three days in your house. Yeah. From the day you ship. Yeah. 
I mean, we can't say order. that because they make us say something from the it's, post office. But I'm, I'm telling, telling you, you, two to three days is what it usually ends what up What we've being. seen from the customer yeah. service end, the customer yeah. facing end, is it's like three days. Yeah. So make sure you're following us on Facebook. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. Make sure you're following us on Twitter. Make sure you're liking, sharing, and subscribing to these videos and telling everybody about the podcast. That is Jason. <laughs> I am Andy. And this has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives. We'll catch you next time. Bye.